ओम ध्यान मूलम गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरु परम मंत्र मूलम गुरु वाक्य मोक्ष मूलम गुरु कृपम अडरेशंस द गुरु हेर सूर्य नारायण ब्राइट एंड ब्यूटीफुल लेट अस ऑल प्रे प्रे विद सिंसियरिटी ओम भुर भवस्व तत्सवितुर वरेण्यम भार्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदयत ओम भुर भवस्व तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यम भार्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदयत गुड मॉर्निंग वेल आई एम सो एक्साइटेड दिस मॉर्निंग टू बी हियर एज यूजल वेलकम टू मंदिर एंड दिस मॉर्निंग वील एंजॉय द manifestation of of god in the universe as the universe in all its form the five elements the nature brilliance in nature these are all what we see here this is the manifestation of god so um oh i i was so uh, impressed and so much encouraged by the conversations that we, i had with many of you and different parts of the world in in india I, i'm in contact with every day with assam and nepal my our swami ji from delhi called yesterday he's checking up and how we do i'm doing and they're going through a very difficult time now because the cases are increasing very much and calls from trinidad and guyana and you show that sign of understanding what is going on and accepting this that you are transitioning from the schooling of ritualism meaning that here we're looking at surya narayan we didn't know we need a murti but we have the real thing here the brilliance of the sun and it's made up of course of um helium and other gases that are tumbling dear and giving friction to and and this is causing high t- intensity of heat and light that we are enjoying and that is sustaining us Well this morning I want to talk about this transitioning from um and graduating from the school of ritualism and going directly to God Back in the early 1950s a mission came from India and um they stopped in Trinidad for some time and then go to Guyana and then the mission returned except for one Swamiji Purnan and Ramji and what he was able to do in Trinidad and Guyana spent some time in Trinidad establishing the school there and then moved on to Guyana and because of his magnetism he stayed at he was able to bring brahmacharis to the ashram boys he went to 63 beach had a satsang there and he was attra- he attracted some boys he wanted to come and they became the swamijis of the ashram But Swamiji bring that power of the Guru Swami Pranavananda Ji because he would have spent time with him personally. Imagine spend time with God, established in Gaya Ashram when the pandas were giving difficulties for the pilgrims coming wanted to pray there. Same thing in Banaras, Purnananda Swami Ji was there and he saw the power and and the miracles of Swami Pranavananda Ji. And in 1991, before Swami uh, Pranavananda Ji left his body. he dep- tell for and you go to um east bengal and unite the people there because Purna- pranavana sham ji was uh, seeing what was going on and they would have been um the revolution to free india from the british so purnan sham ji stayed there but when the division 1947 oh he was so devastated when pakistan was created out of india and mass movement of uh, uh hindus from pakistan and a lot of cruelty perpetrated especially on the females that he was devastated we went back to kolkata and did a lot of meditation and when the mission was about to come he joined so he was loaded with the spirituality and the power and blessings of the guru but in guyana he what he did out of a swamp land he created this ashram first he um he regated the land and then he built a temple and then before you know it there was primary school and hindu college and guess what happened 
he got dormitory for boys. And from that dormitory, more brahmacharis were created. And within a short time, the whole of Guyana was transformed. There was a new religion that was coming in place now, that people were uh, taught to pray in their homes morning and afternoon and setting up altars, not needing a priest at that, uh, from then on. And then the Hawan Yajna was the main, was one of the key elements because that in itself is so transformative. So this here, this Swami Purnanda was so dynamic and then he was uh, at one po uh, brought the ashram to a point in time where the whole country would have come uh, to, to, um, for Sivaratri. Even the ministers from and all the governments, all the parties will come and they will participate. What a transformation. One person, what a power. And he came to America, he established, um, he established the Shanghai America and then eventually America saved Ashram Shang. Went to London, created a center there and deputized monks, even Canada, going all parts of the Caribbean. And this is how the transformation came about. He made the shift, and this the shift is is being how the power of that shift is, shift is being seen today. Because what's happening with this COVID on, devotees, disciples of Swami Purnananda Ji and Bharat Sevashram Singh, thousands of them, they understand what this transformation all about. And I'm so glad that you all are so understanding and moving closer to God. The way that you know that you're moving close to the God and you make an effort is to understand what death is. And when you put your mind to understand what is life here and life after, then your whole thinking will change. You will be having a goal of self-realization and you'll be helping others. That will be universal emancipation. So this morning, let us all make that shift. Let us shift into that place where we want, we have we, we are, treat ourselves like as if you already are what you like to be. Forget, remember that one. Treat yourself as if you, are, are, you already are what you like to be. Keep that in mind and, and that should be a prayer. And our prayer should be, Oh Lord, I want to be like you. I am already like that. I'm already like you. Help me to rediscover. Let me remove these layers that are keeping my body, mind, intellect and ego and I go to you, become like you. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om.